Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we'll be recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 3, X's and O's. We continue from the last episode at the pirate party, with Alex and Danielle making out in the hot tub. They stop and Danielle's like, I don't want anything serious, I just got out of a relationship, and Alex is like, oh good, we're on the same page, and they both agree that they don't want anything serious, and this is all just about kissing and having fun. Danielle even encourages Alex to continue pursuing Jordan, and then they go back to making out and go to Danielle's room for other stuff. Katie and Malia ask Corey about Sam again, and he's still being very vague. In Jordan's room, Jordan and Casey talk about how Jordan wants to continue pursuing Corey. And then Casey's trying to hype up her girl, and she's telling her, Oh yeah, I've heard through the grapevine and through mutual friends that Sam is trash. And Sam is like a basic B. So with a little bit of hyping from her girl Casey, Jordan decides to go knock on Corey's door. She knock, knock, knocks, but he does not answer. In the cameras in his room, he's clearly awake and he hears the knocking. And he's just like, I'm not going to answer that because I don't know what's behind that door and it's just going to get me in trouble. So then after a little bit of knocking and trying to open the door, Jordan realizes that the door is locked. So she just goes onto her bed. Alex wakes up in bed with Danielle. And in both of their confessionals, they say that they didn't go all the way. And Alex says that he's never had a romantic partner encourage him to pursue other girls. Since Alex sleeps naked, he takes a sheet from Danielle's room and goes to his room. Shorts wakes up and then they both talk about Jordan. Even though Alex just left Danielle's room, he's already talking about how he hopes making out with Danielle will encourage Jordan to want to pursue something. The whole gang heads to the slopes. On the drive to the slopes, Jordan is telling Corey that she knocked on his door, but he was asleep. He then clarifies that, no, he was awake. And she's like, okay, well, I knocked and you were ignoring me and your door was locked. And Corey's like, oh, my door doesn't have a lock on it. Which is kind of a weird thing to lie about, I feel like. The group splits up, and Danielle, Katie, and Brian are on the bunny slopes. The, you know, little kids slopes. Alex and Jordan took a lesson, and Casey, Malia, Corey, Kyle, and Schwartz are going on the big boy slopes. For some reason, Schwartz decides to tell everyone that Alex came from Danielle's room into his room this morning. And Casey again asks Corey about his relationship with Sam, which he continues to be vague. Jordan's talking to Alex about how she knocked on Corey's door and he didn't answer. And later when Jordan tells Danielle about it, Danielle reminds her that she and Sam are friends, so she can't can't co-sign Jordan going after Corey. After skiing, they all go to lunch and Alex is all over Danielle. In her confessional, Malia talks about friend zoning Corey because she's not really feeling the romance. She just feels like they're siblings that flirt. I feel like friends that flirt would have been a little bit better to say, but okay. <laughs> you do you, boo. Kyle and Alex are talking outside and Kyle asks Alex if Alex is her first rebound since her last relationship. Alex claimed that he had no idea that Danielle just got out of a relationship, which maybe he doesn't remember, but she definitely brought it up. It was her reason for why she wants to just have a friends with benefits and she's not jumping into anything serious. Word for word, she's like, yeah, I don't want anything serious. I just got out of a serious relationship. That's basically what she said. But again, maybe he doesn't remember or maybe he just doesn't listen to people. I don't know. Schwartz has the greatest idea ever and decides that everyone should make a cocktail based on their exes. And and everybody else's confessional, they're like, I don't know why we're doing this. What, why are we talking about our exes? This is so awkward. Schwartz makes a cocktail out of tequila because he can't please everyone. Alex says he respects his exes so much, so he just made something sweet. And Casey made a cocktail out of literal trash juice. Uh, most people were like, no, I'm not drinking that. And Danielle and Corey decided to just take a shot of it. Even Casey didn't drink it, but okay. <laughs> I feel like drinking trash juice would be a really bad idea for your stomach, but what do I know, I guess? <laughs> While Danielle and Jordan are talking about how Jordan has still yet to make her move, Malia and Corey in the kitchen are discussing whether guys and girls can be friends. And Corey implies, well, he directly says that Malia wants to bang him. And then later, Malia spits alcohol in his mouth in the least sexiest way ever. 
But despite the fact that Malia and Corey are just kind of like lightly flirting, but not really, and Malia kind of just kind of roughhouses with him, she says she grew up with brothers, and that's just kind of what it is. Like, she just roughhouses with guys. Jordan is devastated seeing Malia spit alcohol into Corey's mouth. Because that's, like, basically kissing. Which, I disagree. Also, I don't think I'd want anybody to spit alcohol in my mouth. That's, that's kind of gross. So Jordan is fuming, and she goes downstairs into her bedroom and just cries. Alex wakes up from his sleep and then goes to Jordan's bathroom to go pee real quick. And he sees Jordan crying, and he's like, what's wrong, Jordan? And Jordan's like, I'm just so confused because Malia encouraged me to pursue Corey... And now she's kissing him. Jordan then starts sobbing even louder, and Malia and Katie go check on her. Malia explains that she just spit in Corey's mouth, and it was not a kiss. And it was not sexual at all, it was just a bleh of alcohol in his mouth. Which again, still gross. And then we pretty much end the episode on that. Not much happened this episode, I feel like, but that's okay. Thank you guys for joining me on this recap of episode 3 of Winter House season 3. Do you think that Jordan has a right to be upset with Malia over Corey? I mean, other than trying to go into Corey's room, she really hasn't made a move on Corey. I guess she's not really mad at Corey and she's more so mad at Malia for kissing him or spitting alcohol in his mouth when Malia had said, oh, go get him, girl. Also, I'm pretty sure Corey is the one who's flirting more with Malia than Malia is flirting with Corey, because Corey is all over Malia. He really digs her. But that's all we got today, so let me know what you thought down in the comments below, and make sure you like or dislike the video, and I'll see you next video. Bye, guys! Danielle even encourages Alex to consider... Danielle even encourages Alex to cons- And Jordan talks about how she wants to pursue Jordan. In Jordan's room, Jordan and Casey talk about how Jordan wants to cons- In Jordan's room, Jordan and Casey talk about how Jordan wants to continue pursuing Jordan. Jordan- Oh my gosh! In Jordan's room, Jordan and Casey talk about how Jordan wants to cons- Oh my gosh. And Jordan- And- how Jordan has yet to still make her, has yet, no, has, has, still has yet to make her move.